In this lesson, we're going to test the digital asset you just built to see if it works on another piece of geometry. So here we have the rubber toy, and now we're going to put another piece of test geometry, and we're going to put down the squab. We're going to put that over to the side here, and we can again double click, and it's probably going to need to be a little bit bigger to work with our brick size. So we're going to put a 3 in there, and we're going to maybe lift that up 1.5. So here we have um, another piece of geometry, and we're going to want to test a couple things about it. Uh, we can right click on the output of this, and just go tab Brickify, and then set the display flag um, to make that work. Now of course, by default it's another rubber toy, because that's the default shape. But we can create, change that to the custom shape, and there we go. Now we've got the crag um, turned into a Brickified object. Now, just like we said before, we can go with a texture map here, and it's using the mandrel, so that's working well. Now, if we go to the test geometry, um, just like we did before, we can go to the type properties, extra files, and then the very first diffuse, squab diffuse, we can save it back into the same texture directory. And if we do that, then we can go to the Brickify asset and go get that, um, go hip, text, and squab. And there we go. And now the colors that would have been on the squab as a piece of geometry are now on the bricks themselves uh, after it's been brickified. So there you go. All the basic features that we built into this tool are now working on this separate second piece of geometry. And um, if we were to go back to the, the into the here with the squab, we could of course change that to texture map and get its texture map to toy low res and get the two of them working together. So now we have both those shapes turned into brickified objects. Uh, now let's go add some other details and enhance this uh, digital asset.